Hi guys, Tony here. The Champions League matchup between Paris Saint-Germain and Red Star Belgrade was completely scripted today. It is no coincidence that PSG's first Champions League victory for this campaign ended 6-1 to one because the date of the Champions League final this year is going to be on June the 1st. That can be written out as a date of 6-1. That is the day of the Champions League final. Paris Saint-Germain beat Red Star Belgrade 6-1. I have predicted Juventus to defeat Paris Saint-Germain in the Champions League final ever since May of 2017. That video is going to be linked at the end of the description tab. It is Neymar that scored the hat trick. It is Neymar that has the same birthday of Cristiano Ronaldo. You know, in the language of Demetria, it's it's six that is it's six and one that equals seven. That's Cristiano Ronaldo. Where's number seven? Kalim Mbappe, number seven for starters. I hope you understand the significance of June the first. Now Neymar scored the hat trick. He has the same birthday as Cristiano Ronaldo. It's Neymar that equals thirty one, and it is Madrid that equals thirty one. Once again, the Champions League final is going to be hosted at the Atletico Madrid Stadium, Wanda Metropolitano. Neymar with the hat trick, scoring in the 22nd minute. It is the Italian ward for Spain, Spagna, that equals 22 in Gematria. Kalia Mbappe scored in the 70th minute. It is Edison Cavani that scored in the 37th minute. Juventus play in Turin, Italy, and the Italian word for Turin is Torino. It is Torino that equals 37. It's Juve that can go 3-7 and seven in the Champions League final with the victory. That is no coincidence. In the 64th Champions League, Juventus last won in the 41st Champions League. It is Angel Di Maria that scored in the 41st minute. Let's check out the Gematrias of all these goal scorers. It's, it, it, look, it's Di Maria that equals 55. It was Inter Milan that was the last Italian team, the only Italian team to win the treble, the last one to win the Champions League. That final was also hosted at Madrid. Di Maria equals 37. You know, it's no coincidence he scores the goal in the 41st minute. That was attributed to the 95-96 title of Juventus back when they won that Champions League. Kalia Mbappe, he's another one too, you know, his idol is Cristiano, you know, Kalia equals 2-7, and seven. Juve is 2-1 in the, in the Champions League final, that can only mean that it's Paris that's going to lose, but look at this, Kalia Mbappe equals 53, it is Madrid, Spagna, Madrid, Spain in Italian, that equals 53, it is, I think, Capionato, the Italian word for championship, that equals 53. Okay, it doesn't equal 53, but 53, anyways, connects to the site of the Champions League final and using Gematria with the Italian language. How about Red Star? Red Star equals 85. Paris Saint Germain equals 85. It is. Real Madrid, that equals 85. You know, the defending Champions League winner, two-time defending Champions League winner. Scripted as it is. Funny as it is. Now, Ronaldo's the last thing to look up. I think Cristiano equals 70 in Gematria. I just had to go check here. You know, I need to understand why he scored in the 70th minute. That's a mystery for itself. Red Star Belgrade the opponent. What could that mean? Okay, so Red Star and we need Belgrade. Red Star Belgrade equals 67. 139 it is. Freemasonry that equals 139. Where Freemasonry comes into play here is that Juventus where the Freemasonic black and white stripes, which 
represents balance in the, in the universe and ultimately the meaning of life. It is the Freemasons that believe in the pursuit of knowledge and believe in occultic and secret knowledge that they often keep secret from the masses when they give each other their own sacred oaths of secrecy. So I think it's no coincidence that Red Star, Belgrade, and Freemasonry equal 139 because it is Juventus FC, it is owner Agnelli, and it is Masonry that equals 33. So this game completely rigged by the numbers. PSG 6, Red Star, Belgrade 6, their first victory in the Champions League this year. The final on 6-1, six, six I mean... It's just, it's just completely scripted, people. That's all you can say about this. And, you know, let's check Neymar's goal total because, you know, him and Ronaldo, the same birthdays of February the 5th, just comes as no coincidence unless, you know, if you're a moron and you have to just think that things happen because, oh, it's all coincidence. So, no such thing as, you know, luck and coincidence. You know, everything happens for a reason. So European goals is what we have to look out for. You see, nine goals, 23 is the ninth prime. Nine goals with PSG after today. Two appearances and three goals, a lot like the number 23. Juve ending a 23-year drought. I mean, Neymar the number 10, 45 European goals here. And then we have Debala equaling 45 in Gematria. And I think Cristiano does as well. You know, Cristiano equals 45 as well. I told you guys this was going to be the scripted Champions League matchup final two years ago. You know, two years ago from 2019, I should say. And this is exactly what's going to happen right now, as they say, by the numbers. And you know, PSG uh, scored eight goals so far. They've allowed three goals. You know, eight goals scored and four allowed. Juventus equals 84 in reverse ordinal. A scripted joke, definitely. It's going to be Juventus and Ronaldo over the new guy, Mbappe, PSG, and then Mar